Hey, Jeff McCartney from Bunk Speed here. And the idea for this video is to just show you the first run experience for Hypermove. What I'm gonna take you through is installation, licensing, import, painting, lighting, and rendering of a simple model. To get started, we just need to install Hypermove, run the setup.exe. It's going to look for DirectX. It's gonna install or update DirectX as needed. Click next. This is all standard installation here. All right, now we're ready to just basically click through this installer, accept the terms, information, standard path, install, and again, let that work. All right, excellent. We're ready to finish the installation. Just enable launch bunk speed hypermove and click finish. What pops up is our license activation form. Just fill this out with your own information. Let me just fill mine out here. All right, I'm gonna go for Hypermove Pro and uh, this email address here you can use to ask me questions. Feel free to contact us. Also, if you're looking for a trial of Hypermove, go ahead and just leave the serial number blank. If you've purchased Hypermove, put in your serial number and then you'll have a little activate button here that'll contact our license server, get a license and get Hypermove working all automatically. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the manual activation method in case this option is not available as it is not available here for me. One option is to create an email license request. It's basically gonna take this information in an email and send it to us. Also, you can just copy to clipboard and that's going to give me this information that I can paste into my own email. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have a handy little uh, Gmail composition here ready to go. Paste that in. It's sending to license for at bunkspeed.com. Go ahead and send that. And then you're gonna get back an email that looks something like this with a license.blx file attached. Download that and run it. That's going to install your new Hypermove license to a default location. Just this FlexLM folder, click save, click okay. And then now we're ready to actually launch Hypermove. You can see I have a desktop icon here, double click to launch. Now that we have it open, I'm gonna note that I skipped two things that you will encounter in your installation of Hypermove. First is a systems diagnostics test that you'll see here. Now, if anything comes up red in this test when installing Hypermove, you will not be able to use it. So please contact us at that point and we'll help you figure out what the problem is. Also, the other thing I skipped was the installation of the Hypermove contents folder. It's gonna ask you where you want to put that. Just tell it to go to the desktop or wherever you want it to go. But now we're ready to import a model into our models mode here. You can go to file, import, you can do control I, or you can just drag and drop. I have a model here in my models folder, drag and drop that in and select material, click okay. All right, now we can select our model and move it a little bit. So we need to have model selection tool enabled and then use the move manipulator tool to select the model. And then you can just use this little widget on the screen to move it however you want. I'm gonna just kind of put it at a little angle here and just get something that's a little more interesting than just laying flat. Once it's into position, let's go down into materials mode and you'll see a bunch of different colors that uh, come from the modeling software. I'm gonna hit Control A, select them all, delete them with the delete key. And now I'm going to right click, open default material library, and I could drag and drop materials from this default library onto my model. For example, brushed aluminum, drop it on right there. Uh, now, once it's dropped into the 3D scene, it becomes part of this project and is in the material library here. I can then drop that onto other pieces of my model just by dragging and dropping. I can go and use a plastic here to find a, a nice black plastic for the rest of the phone here. Again, becomes part of the project uh, library and I can just put that onto the different pieces that I need. You can drag and drop and there's also a copy and paste and uh, you'll of course learn these hotkeys more as you go along. Now I want to grab a uh, glass out of the glass section and drop that onto this outer glass here. And also I want to hide this outer glass to get down to this piece here. I'm just going to put a black plastic there as well. I'm actually going to make a copy of my black plastic, put it on there and just make it a bit darker, make it seem like a real dark turned off screen. So now I'm going to right click show all to bring that glass back. Once I have my materials basically set up, I'm gonna go down into scene mode, environment, and I'm gonna switch out this environment for a new one that's a little bit more interesting. Right click, new environment, Chrome Studio is a good choice. Bring that in, and you can see it's a little more interesting, has a little more contrast. I'm gonna do something like this maybe, and we'll see what kind of ray trace we get. 
Uh, before I ray trace this image or render it out, I'm going to just fine tune my material. So you can see some of the settings we have. We can make this material have a red color to it if we want. We can really do any anything we want. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it at a almost black plastic. Might take the roughness down just a bit. And then I'm just going to hit ray trace. And you can just use some standard resolutions, 800 by 600, just for a nice preview of your image. And I'm going to use normal quality output. Click OK. And let's see what we get. This starts your ray trace output. You get a little progress bar. And there you go. You can see some of the, the details that are coming up in the ray tracer here. You get some nice, some nice looking reflections in the metal. Get a nice reflection in the glass there. And that's really all there is to it. Take a look at the next video tutorial in this two tutorial series. And you'll learn more about texturing this thing, animating it, and a little bit more advanced techniques for using Hypermove. Thanks for your interest in Hypermove and good luck.